Mr. Speaker, I rise today to express my condolences on the passing of a giant in the Durham, North Carolina community, a trailblazer, one who dedicated her life to improving health outcomes for disadvantaged citizens, including veterans. This trailblazer, Mr. Speaker, was my friend, Dr. Sharon Elliott Bynum. Sharon passed away on Sunday, January 3rd, at the young age of 58, two days before her 59th birthday. We lost this giant far too soon, but not before she revolutionized the delivery of care for those in need through the founding of Durham's first freestanding comprehensive health care clinic called Healing with Care. My first visit as Durham's congressman was an enlightening visit to care. I saw Sharon at work. I saw paid staff. I saw dozens of community volunteers. We mourn this tremendous loss, but we also celebrate Sharon's remarkable life that was replete with the success that many can only hope to achieve. Born in Durham, Sharon Elliott Bynum was a graduate of Northern High School, Durham Technical Institute, the Watts School of Nursing, and my alma mater, North Carolina Central University. She also received a master's degree and Ph.D. from Victory International College. Sharon was a dedicated member of a great sorority, Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. As a member of the Durham Alumni Chapter, founded in 1931, she led by example. Sharon was also a member of the National Council of Negro Women, Sigma Theta Tau International, Top Ladies of Distinction, and many more service organizations. Finally, she was a faithful member of Faith Assembly Christian Center in Durham. Dr. Elliot Bynum attracted, was attracted to the field of nursing when she, at the age of 16, began volunteering at historic Lincoln Community Health Center. Sharon's volunteerism, Mr. Speaker, motivated her to pursue a nursing career. And so in 1995, Dr. Elliot Bynum and her late sister Patricia, Pat, she called her, founded Healing with Care Incorporated. What began as a nonprofit community-based provider of services for individuals living with HIV expanded to be the primary health care home for more than 1,000 individuals living with cancer and cardiovascular disease, diabetes, and obesity. CARE also provides free dental care, substance abuse counseling, a food pantry, and free housing for homeless veterans. Her remarkable work has been honored over the years through many awards and recognitions. They include the Order of the Longleaf Pine, which is the highest civilian honor presented by the governor, the Congressional Black Caucus Foundation's Veterans Brain Trust Award, the NCCU Distinguished Alumni Award, and the Durham Chamber of Commerce Women's Leadership Award. Dr. Elliot Bynum's lifetime of tireless work in service to thousands of disadvantaged individuals had an immeasurable impact on the Durham community, a grateful community that joins me today in celebrating this life. And so I ask my colleagues to join me in expressing our recognition to Dr. Sharon Elliott Bynum's two children, Ebony Elliott Covington and Damian Elliott Bynum, her beloved brother, Joe Elliott Jr., sisters Carolyn Hinton and Addie Mann, her grandson Ahmad, the entire care family, and all those who have been impacted by her extraordinary work. And I may say, Mr. Speaker, that some of the family members are with us today. And so, Mr. Speaker, in closing, on tomorrow, I will say just a few words at the Celebration of Life Service in Durham by making a very plain but profound point. And it goes like this. Durham, North Carolina is a better place. It is a better place to live and work because of the unselfish service of Dr. Sharon Elliott Bynum. May she rest in peace, peace a life well lived. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I yield back. Gentleman yields back.